Hi everyone, we are Stuck Together Resin. I'm Jacqueline. I'm Shane. <laughs> so it's raining outside today. We're usually doing resin, we're sanding, we're pouring, we're doing some aspect of something to build something. <laughs> but today, <Sounds> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but today uh, it's raining outside, so we decided to shoot our first YouTube video. Yeah, it's been a long time coming and it's something we've been talking about doing and playing with ideas and just never really pulled the trigger on it because it's this ginormous undertaking and um, we figured we'd just kind of start off with like a little introduction. Um, I'm Shane, I've been surfing and skating and doing repairs on my own surfboards and working with resin and wood and pretty much anything you can think of other than welding, which I want to do um, <laughs> <laughs> for a long time. And uh, yeah, I, I, I've worked with resin for a while and enjoyed it. And I started playing with colors and pigments and figuring out the whole like deep pour thing years ago. And that's me. <laughs> so this is how it kind of all started. He has his experience in resin and once upon a time, it seems like forever ago now, um, I wanted a new coffee table and I had seen the resin waves and I was completely fascinated by them. It was something totally unique um, and completely unaffordable. So with his experience and knowledge of the resin and me not having any clue what it was, um, I, like I'd never even heard of it before like I knew about surfboards I knew about surfing and all this and that I had no idea what it was made out of or what went into it resin. yeah <laughs> yeah imagine that um, so uh, we bought our first little piece of wood and little tiniest bottles of resin I could find yeah which is a totally foreign thing because I'm used to polyester resin where it's like five drops of hardener per <laughs> ounce of resin and it gets hot and you've got 15 minutes so it's just like a fire drill and all of a sudden there's like this thing called epoxy and it's like oh half of this and half of that and you mix them together and you've got 45 minutes like wow like what is this craziness and yeah so we we started playing with different pigments and colors and different whites and how to blow it back using the heat gun to like replicate the effect of the whitewash and the waves and whatnot. And um, the process of doing that, like we had this little nook in the corner of the garage. I'll try to put a little picture of that in the video if I can. And uh, it started there and it kind of turned into, you know, we'd have all these little circles where we'd test everything out and pretty much just like we'd try it and we'd have a little thing on the back like two parts blue one part green like for whatever formula and um we just hang them up in the garage like right behind us for what we have there. hanging now is much better <laughs> than what it was from years ago uh, we're definitely here to tell you to keep going at it there's something oh yeah Look at that beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's, there's, I don't know what changed or what we learned or what it was, but that one just is a mess and it's full of um, dimples or pits or surface tension or whatever it's called. Um, and it doesn't happen anymore. So just if you're looking to learn how to do this, we're going to have tutorials coming and just keep, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Don't stop. Don't give up. And uh, message us if you need help. We're happy to help any way we can. Yeah, this isn't something that happens overnight. It's taken us, we're like two years deep, and I think we've probably poured several thousand pieces of resin art and 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 sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces of resin art. <laughs> we don't actually have an exact number.